All right, I'm going to do a quick Nagios install. Um, this is a CentOS 5.5 box running on top of Hyper-V. Um, step one, we're going to go ahead and disable, or not disable, we're going to change the um, mode of SE Linux to permissive. So we'll do that. And then to make sure that it's um, it's working, we can do and we see the current mode here is permissive um, but we see here that the mode from the config file is enforcing so what will happen is next time it reboots it will go back into the enforcing mode so I want to change that config file so it always runs in permissive change this and save it. Um, now I've already gone ahead and um, opened port 80 on the firewall so we can skip that step in my directions here. Um, and we can go on to installing the packages that we need for uh, Nagios to work. Say yes to downloading these packages. All right, now we can go on to creating the Nagios user. So we'll use user add. And then we're also going to create a group. And now we're going to add some users to this new group we just created. And we also need to add the Apache user. Now we need to actually download Nagios Core and the um, and the plugin. So I'm going to change directories to my downloads directory here. And I'm going to make a directory for this for these files. here so I can just copy paste these
All right, that's Nagios core. We need to get the plugins. extract these. And we'll extract the plugins. Now we'll change directory into the Nagios core. Now we'll run configure. Make install. Make install dash init dash config. create our our login for the web interface Start uh, Apache and it failed to stop it because it wasn't started in the first place, so that's fine. Um, now we can go ahead and install the plugins. So we're going to go up a directory and go here. Now we're going to run configure again. Plugins install is actually quite a bit longer than, than the Nagios core install. All right. 
right, last step for the plugins is make install. To make sure that the Nagio service starts when the server does. And we also want Apache to start when the server does. Alright, now we can do we haven't configured anything yet in Nagios, but this command here will verify the configuration. Um, we haven't made any changes, so it's it's not going to have any problems, but I'll just show you what it looks like here. Um, it runs through and checks all your config files, makes sure there's no problems in any of them. Um, and total warning zero, total error zero, so that means the Nagios server, or service won't have any issues starting, so we can go ahead and start it at this point. So the service has started. Um, we should be able to go over to the browser now and um, and open it up. I'm going to do it from my domain controller in the test environment here. already set up a DNS name for the server IP. Alright, so it's prompting me for my credentials. And here is Nagios. So you can see it's up and running. Um, it's really pretty simple actually. Um, the more complicated part is definitely uh, configuring it from here. Um, getting your config files set up for the services and servers you want to monitor and um, and just getting it organized in a in a fashion that you can easily work with uh, but that's it for the install um, I will be doing another one on configuration